Um, at the moment, I'm not bringing Baz, <laughs> um, but uh, I don't really have anybody to bring at the moment, so I'm looking. <laughs> you've done so many movies this year, and you could have been nominated for several things. Were you surprised to have Moulin Rouge first? You know, um, yeah, I, w I was filming when I found out, um, and so I didn't find out immediately when the nominations came out, because we were in Sweden and the time difference and stuff, and also I didn't want to you know, invest emotionally in it. So it was kind of at five o'clock at the end of the day, Lars von Trier um, had just finished shooting. We'd done this big scene and they held up this white sign off camera and it just said, nominated best actress. And I went, oh, what right. film? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they said Moulin Rouge. And I actually was really thrilled that it was Moulin Rouge because um, I think my relationship with Baz and with Ewan and with that movie was such a long period of my life. And so um, I almost felt like, I felt like I didn't let Baz down, <laughs> which is a weird thing to say, but as an actor, you know, your director almost wants it so much for you that you go, oh, I hope he's not disappointed. And I felt that um, he would have been really disappointed if I didn't pull through for him, so I was really glad. You know, so you're the kids are, are older now, and yeah. they know about award shows, but the Oscar is well, they don't know so much about awards as they know about the Golden Globes because they watch that. Um, and now they um, are aware of sort of the tradition of the Academy Award, which I think is the thing that makes the Academy Awards special is that it has such a tradition. You know, it has such a history. Um, you see all these photos of these icons holding these gold statues through the years and there's something, I mean, I quite like tradition, so it's, it's nice. It's nice to be a part of it. Uh, 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 no, champagne. <laughs> well, I sort of came back from Sweden having been, you know, in the snow, in this very intense um, independent art film, and came back to this and went, whoa, um, I'm in Los Angeles now. Um, and uh, I, I think Baz has a really good way of putting it. He said, to see all the films is a hard thing as an Academy member. So what you're trying to say to people is, you know, look at this film, watch this film, pop it in your, if you haven't seen it on the big screen, then pop it in your video and, or see, get your DVD out and watch it and consider it. And so that's sort of um, his mantra. And, um, and, and then people see the film and then they decide. It's just asking people, though, to see the work and make a decision based on the work. Can I ask you about Last question. how the rest of the designers, I mean, you are a glamorous figure to begin with. Uh, and now you're uh, <laughs> Not in the morning. <laughs> No, I haven't been at all. <laughs> it's, I mean, I have a sort of a relationship with a couple of designers who I tend to just gravitate towards, and I think that that's sort of known. So um, I don't get besieged with a lot of offers. But the thing I do think about the glamour side of the Academy Awards is that it's sort of nice to celebrate it. As a girl, it's kind of fun to go, um, you know, let's get dressed <laughs> up and, and um, celebrate the that that side of it you know and I think also just as it being a celebration of film and at a time now when um, when people feel like saying okay let's embrace life a little bit you know so I don't thank know you very much. <laughs> thank you